idiot. Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pretending? One person was injured in the run-through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Why did Sal tell her it was Hammer? Why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? Uh, unless he didn't, unless that was just a lie. Unless she just saw him limping and assumed that it was a real limp. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. That must have been what it was then. He didn't tell her at all. She just saw it and assumed it was a real limp. You saw him limping. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but... Wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, I don't know why he was pretending to be him exactly. We gotta get to that. I'm sure Phoenix has an idea and he'll tell me. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! Uh, and when was he doing this? Well, it would have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume. Edgeworth, we should do this more often. Instead of going against each other, we should just do this. You know, we'll just add to each other's, you know, objections and whatnot, and we'll just help each other out. That'll be much better. Well, he was murdered. Thank you, buddy. Exactly. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. So I guess my initial assumption that whoever killed him thought it was Will Powers, I guess that was wrong. So that's out the window. But I still don't know why he was pretending to be Will. I've come up with a couple theories that I've talked about throughout, but we don't know all the details yet. Can you refute this claim? Huh. I'm glad you're not going to try it. You're on my side now, completely. That's really helpful. Let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez. Very well. I have a question for you. Ugh, why are you the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? I, something about, you know, changing the studio and keeping it going and whatnot. You you had something. You You did. It's really hot in here, I'm hungry, and I have to pee. So I kind of want to get through this, but, uh, yeah, it's still really fun. I'm, I'm, we're getting down to the wire here. Just gotta find out all the details. We know what happened. We just gotta find out why. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with prove it. I have proof, and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive in this murder. Uh... Actually... Evidence as to her motive. Um, she was really sad that the monkey lost his head. There's, that's just nothing. I mean, that's all about the Steel Samurai, but I don't think it's relevant. The only thing that seems maybe remotely re relevant is this, but even that doesn't really. But I'll go for it. This is my proof. This is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. Does it? Unless it's just the fact that she's trying to... Maybe he was gonna... Maybe his conscience had gotten guilty and he was gonna come clean about it and she didn't want that to happen because that would ruin the reputation of the studio. That might be what it is, actually. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? Uh, five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With Divazquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. So that was an accident. She just said it was murder because she was just being a bitch. That makes more sense. Okay. So that's a mystery solved. It was an accident. Ironically enough, that accident pre precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall. His fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. That's what I'm saying. However, you, Divazquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. This recording is over an hour and ten minutes. I really hope it comes out okay. Huh. Bringing us to the present day, and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly, it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. Huh. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... 
As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, and not the other way around. Sure, unless it was my thing that I said. Yes, that's right. According to what you say, I would have had no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me. Unless he was going to come clean and you didn't want that to happen. Mr. Wright, because they even just said that his guilt got the best of him. I mean, there's no other evidence. There's nothing else. Okay. Allow me to present the evidence. You know, the... I mean, the only thing is this again, though. It's... But... Uh, it's not gonna... We just did that. We, we just went through this. I mean, yeah, sort of. So I lose a... I lose a mark. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. There's nothing else, though. Nick, we're so close. Think this one through, please. Mr. Wright, I'll ask you again. Please explain Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. There's nothing. There's no other evidence. I'm gonna say that. Maybe she's just an evil bitch and she just wanted to kill him. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. What? Oh. Uh. Okay. So what they said was right. It sounds more like he killed her. Maybe he actually did try to. To get since he was blackmailing him this whole time, he finally got fed up with it and tried to take her out and she defended herself and pushed him over the edge. Wow. Okay. Didn't expect that. Why was he dressed up as the steel samurai though? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Oh, that's why. He didn't want it, her to see him coming. He put on the Steel Powers thing to pretend to be Will to catch her off guard. That's what it was. Okay, this case took some very interesting turns. I like it. It went on for a long time, but I like it. But that means she's not really guilty. I mean, there was the blackmail thing covering up that death. Um, just hiding this death. So that's still definitely a crime, right? Probably. Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. Why do you have to say his name in every single sentence? And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. Boom. Wow. So that's right. That's it. So you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance! There's blood everywhere, we're too late. Ah, Miss Vasquez. So I thought it had to do with wanting to keep the, the studio running, or, um, you know, change the studio, or framing Will Powers. Just, I feel like that would have been way more interesting, but this was definitely unexpected. All my theories were wrong, <laughs> for the most part. What happened here? Manuel. Oh, that's the five years ago one. I was like, what? Who the fuck is Manuel? So that was an accident, right? I mean, apparently he was willing to kill her. So he might be a killer already, but I guess it was an accident. No, Manuel, Manuel! Don't touch him, Miss Vasquez. No! Please, please don't die. She's really freaking out. Was she, like, close to this guy? Was he, like, with her or something? Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. For real this time, though. Mr. Regworth, uh, where is D. Vasquez? What? Oh, I was gonna say, what the hell are you talking about? She was just, we just saw her right there. I was like, did she just disappear in a puff of smoke? I see. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I thank you, Your Honor. Edgeworth actually helped, so, yeah. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural. So he is actually starting to come around and realize that you cannot be a douchebag all the time. That's good. That's good. 
Yes, yes, you're right. Very well. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Not guilty. Hell yeah. Oh, now he's here. Good. Good job, buddy. That is all. The court is adjourned. Great. We're done. Turnabout Samurai. You were a pretty crazy one, I have to say. I can only imagine that as the games go on, they get crazier and crazier. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but... It's sad. I know now that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. I mean, is she actually gonna get convicted of something? Her and Sal for covering sh shit up? But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder... It makes me sad. Oh, I guess that's why, yeah. That's another reason not only to catch her off guard, but to frame him. So if somebody did want to frame Will, I was right about that, but it was Jack. Wow. Very interesting stuff. Really, really cool. Really cool case. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. He was probably jealous of you that you were the big star and he wasn't anymore. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? This is like the same thing from the first case when I could show Larry the thing, uh, and it was kind of inconsequential, but it was just a nice little touch, so I'll show something, make sure I pick the right item. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... Uh, I should probably show this to show like how well-celebrated he is and well-loved when Jack Hammer was not anymore. Let's go with that. So now not only is it hot, I'm hungry, I have to pee, my DS is... light is red, it's gonna run out of battery. Gotta get through with this soon. <laughs> because I was the Steel Samurai. Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show, and as the villain to boot. The kids loved the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP. Oh? Oh, haha. <laughs> I wonder if the show's gonna go on. Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more. I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Um... Maybe not. You could probably play another role. You could do like a, a movie about this whole story. That'd actually make for an interesting movie. You could play yourself. Nick Edgeworth. Oh, hi. Your face is really scary up close. Say something right. I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Uh, that was too bad, Edgeworth. No, he helped. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away with it, with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids, and that dog, too. Ah, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Ah, uh, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Really? Liar? <laughs> right. I must say, I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? Yeah, apparently we knew him. However... In retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I am saddled with unnecessary feelings. Wow, we brought out feelings in the man. Unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. Well then. Okay. Uh, Mr. Wright? Is this guy your friend? Mm, sort of now. Friends, as if they're rivals. Rivals, right, Nick? Well, there's a line there. Friends, rivals, you know, similar thing. For now, we are, I guess. Yeah. Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick. Tell me, what's the deal with you and Edgeworth? Oh, we'll find out later, I guess. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town, and I guess the, uh, I guess the show gets to go on. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kid shows again. Oh shit, the idea he got for me for Maya to play, but she didn't get to play her. This is it! The new show starts today! You're going to watch it with me, right? Maybe Old Bag is the star. <laughs> also, did Vasquez go to jail for anything? Like, I honestly don't know. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? Is he the pink princess? 
I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real Will Powers. Is he the pink princess? That's amazing. That's the coolest thing I've ever heard. I mean, that's the lead, right? And he's... What is it? What? Hold on. No, don't end. Hold on. Hold the fuck up. You're telling me the Will Powers is playing the pink princess. I need more info. I need to watch that show. Well, God damn it. That's the end of Turnabout Samurai. Apparently, we're moving on to Turnabout Goodbyes. That was a crazy case. It was a long one, and there were a lot of theories and changing ideas along the way, but uh, yeah, it was really entertaining. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. We'll be moving on to episode four next time, so I will see you guys then.